Hello everyone, my name is George and this is SAS Master. Today we're going to check out MailPoet and we're going to dig deep into MailPoet settings and what you can do with it. So the idea is to help you decide if MailPoet is the right one for you. Now MailPoet is an email marketing plugin for WordPress that you can install it and use it in your site. Now there's a great deal going on right now so check out the link in the description. Plus, MailPoet also has a free version, so you can use it for free, the premium version, up to 1,000 subscribers. So it's pretty cool that you have that option. Um, after 1,000 subscribers, what happens is that the subscribers keep adding, but you can't send emails to them until you upgrade. But it's pretty cool that you have that option. Maybe you have a small site, maybe you don't need more than 1,000 subscribers, so it's just perfect for you. All right, so this is MailPoet's site, but if you wanna check out the deal, the link is in the description. So let's jump into a site that has WooCommerce because I wanna show you what MailPoet is capable of, even with WooCommerce. So there's four main things that MailPoet does. So it's the newsletters, the welcome emails, post notifications, and the WooCommerce emails. Also, there's a form builder that we're gonna check out in this video. So let's jump into newsletters. And what newsletters is that is that when you wanna create a notification for your users, users, let's just say you did a brand new blog, you have a new sale, you, Talk, want to talk something about your subscribers that you want to tell them well you send out a newsletter so that's what this one is for and what you have the capabilities of is using already pre-built templates so let's just wait for them to load um, this is a little slow on my site just a heads up and what we can do is actually preview these email templates from for newsletters so let's just say you know what this one looks all right let's just check it out first and this is how your email template looks see how nice that looks I mean, that's pretty good, right? You can check out another one if you want, like on this one, preview, and they look really nice. And if you like what you're looking at, I actually like, like this hotel one. I'll just select this one. And what you're gonna do is you can edit the colors, you can edit the pictures, what it says, and all that good stuff to obviously your branding, right? So right now we're seeing the templates like yellow. Well, let's just say, hey, you know what? My branding is not yellow. My site is actually bluish. So that's my branding, right? And I could change this to something about like, ah, blue, even though that doesn't look really good. But what I would do is, that's the border, I would change the text. So I would change that to white. So for example, that's white, now it looks better, right? Also here, we got some yellowish. Obviously, I would change that to blue also. Images are capable of editing. You got the edit editing sections right here. You got the editor. So this image is based on a link, so you can change that to another link and it'll replace the image. You can scale it, fill it, or use tile. Once you do it, you hit done. You got options to add buttons, modify what the newsletter already has, but what's really cool is that you can add new content. So right here, let's just say I wanna drag this text right here because you know what, something's missing from this template and I could just say, hello, all right, just whatever you want. You can add images, you can add buttons, dividers, spacers, social, posts, autom automatic latest content, products, headers, and footer. So you can add all, the, all those contents and you can also divide columns. What are columns right here? These are the columns that are available. So you got single block, double block, three, or like kind of one by two or two by one to give it a little touch. So for example, here we are viewing a two column. So that's divided in two. So if I want to give it another twist right here, see how that changes. And so let's just add an image right here in this content block. And I'll just choose something that I have here. So I'll just choose this one, select image. Obviously, the image is not fitted for that, but it works. All right, let's add another image just to show you what the content blocks is. Or we can add text right here. So like, check out this deal, right? So you can do that, you can align it, you can change it, you can change the font also. So you got all these options available right now. You can convert it into link, you can center it, move it to left, a bold, and all that good stuff. So it's pretty cool that you have all these options. And next thing we have is the style. So right here you can change the styles, colors, and all that good stuff right here. And preview. So if you want to preview this, you can click on this. You can actually send it to an email, uh, whatever you want, just to check out how it would look in an actual email inbox, right? Or you can view it in the browser. So you have those options. Next thing you would do is select title and preview text. If you're like, if you like what you see, you can save it or you can go to next. I'm just gonna click next to show you what the options will be once you click next. Let's wait for that to load. All right, so right here is where you select again the subject. You can change the subject uh, title, 
the list that you want to send it. So you want to send it to which subscriber list. So for example, when you create the list over here on subscribers on, the, on your left, you can design a list, especially for, let's just say WooCommerce buyers, WooCommerce just signups. Um, basically someone who just signs up for a newsletter or however you want to decide, right? Or maybe just imported subscribers inside. So you can actually subscribe, put in subscribers and you can say, Hey, you know what? I did a giveaway somewhere else and I want to import those subscribers. So you, you would set a list that these are the giveaway subscribers. So you would select that list. Who is the sender? So let's just say in this case, it's SAS master, right? Just say that, and it's gonna send it with these this email. And if they decide to reply that email, it's gonna head on over to this, right? So reply to this email. You could change it if you want to do that. And for Google Analytics purpose, you could change this also. So if you are ready to go, you can hit send or you can save as draft. So it's super easy. I mean, if you want to send the newsletter, it's just that quick. Just takes you time to create your template, get it nice and going, and it's ready to go. So it's super easy and fast. Let's head on over to the next section. And next one is welcome emails. I really like this option. I haven't set it up. I haven't done setup on this side, but what it does is that welcome emails will be sent to anyone who just subscribes to your list. Now you have two options here. You can, when someone subscribes to the list, so like basically the subscribe to the list or when a new WordPress user is added. So maybe you're using a membership plugin, you're using, I don't know, a, another store that's not WooCommerce, something like that. So maybe you want to just select whoever you want and you got new options. So in this case, you could say, hey, you know what? The shop manager. So right here, I'm using the membership plugin, right? So I get different options. So I can hit set this one for pen suspender or just say, hey, you know what? Any role on WordPress because you don't want to deal with, you know what? I'm not sure if it's this one or the other. I'm not sure. I'm not going to add a brand new admin. So I'll just do all the roles. And what's going to happen when I am? When am I going to send this welcome email? Well, can I do it immediately? Hours later, days later or weeks later? So I can say, you know what? Days. And I can say after three days, I want to send out this email. So that's a pretty cool option because someone that, that's brand new that signed up, you can actually create an email saying, hey, you know what? Uh, take advantage of this coupon code and you know what? You get $3 off, $5 off or 10% or just something you want to say, right? And it's possible with this. And again, we got the preview right here. We can select the templates and we can just go right ahead and edit it and have that ready. So automatically when someone signs up into the, your, your site, it's going to send out that email when you told it to. So in this case, I think I told it three days. So it's just going to send it automatically without me doing anything else. So how cool is that, right? So let's go back to emails because obviously the editor, we already saw it. And there's a whole bunch of templates right here. So next thing we have right here is post notifications. And what post notifications does is that you can send out automatic emails based on the content you create. So latest content, you can send it daily, weekly, monthly, or immediately after publication. So what that does is that once you create a brand new content piece of content, so for example, you create a brand new post or a brand new product, you can send out an, e an email automatically with that information. So you can do it on a, on a daily basis, weekly, monthly, every or immediately, and the day, the time that you want to send that out to. So like I said, it's pretty powerful, even though it, even in the in the free version. And last for emails is WooCommerce. So what is the emails for WooCommerce? So basically, what you can do with WooCommerce is you can replace the emails from WooCommerce or you can use these templates right here, which are pretty awesome. So abandoned shopping cart. So that means if someone went all through the shopping cart and they didn't buy, well, that's an abandoned shopping cart. What are you going to do? Well, let's set up an email to say, let's just click right here. So you can say after 30 minutes, hours, days, or whatever, right? So you can say, you know what, after, you know what, days. So after five days, I want to send out this email template saying, you know what, you are a lucky, guy and you are going to get a 10% discount, right? So you, if someone, if he was somewhat decided to buy, maybe that's just that little push that he needed to buy. So you can take advantage of this system to create an abandoned card. First purchase email, purchased in category and purchased this product. So creating an uh, email based on certain criteria that you have right here. That's pretty awesome. Now, if you want to replace the emails from WooCommerce, that's going to be over here in settings. Then you head on over here to WooCommerce 
and right here you can use use MailPoet to customize WooCommerce emails. So open the template editor. I just want to finish off with the emails things with this one, all right? And then we're going to head on over to the form. So what this does, it can replace the actual emails that you're already sending out. So these are the completed order emails. So you got the new account email, you got the processing order, you got the completed order and customer note. So we can change this. Uh, again, we have the content right here. We got columns and we have styles. You can change this a little bit more tweaked and it doesn't look like that typical WooCommerce email. So you can change it and it'll look much better than what you're using right now. That's to change the WooCommerce ones. Next thing is the forms. So you can actually create a form builder to get new subscribers. So you don't have to rely on another plugin. So you can use this one if you want. And what this does is that we're gonna create a brand new one. I wanna show you how this form builder works. And what you can do is actually create the spaces where they can subscribe. So where they can put their name, they can put their email, and they're gonna get subscribed. So let's wait for this one to load. All right, there it is. And you can see right here. So you can see right here, this form name is sign up. All right, so I'm gonna create that. This is the, the email, you can subscribe. We can add a brand new field right here. So let's just say, you know what, for my form, I do want the first name, all right? So let's just move this up, move it up again. So in this case, we want the name and the email, all right? So we have that option. We can remove the block if we want. We can create a brand new block and you have these options available. So you got the fields, you got first name, divider, name, list selection, and con custom text and you got custom fields, create a custom field. That's also possible right here with your criteria, something that you need specially to, to answer. So it can be a text, radio buttons, checks box, select. So for example, check box could be one of them. And the field name would be is, uh, uh, are you a client? All right, so that could be one and this could be yes. And you can have that option, right? So mandatory field, yes or no and you can create that. Let's wait for that to load. So now we have this field, we can put it over here, or you can say, hey, did you read our terms and agreements? And so on and so forth. So you got a lot of options right here that you can add for the form builder. Guys and girls, that is MailPoet. It's a pretty interesting plugin that you can install on your WordPress site. And like I said, if you guys just want to test it out before you actually go into the paid version, there's a free version that you can check out that's premium version for up to 1000 subscribers. I hope you guys like this video. And like I said, there will be a link in the description that there's a deal that's going on. So I thank you guys for watching. My name is George and this is SaaS Master. See you guys later.